we control in Blackberries, it's a, it's a year round uh, event. It's not something that you take any time off of. Any, any presence of weeds is gonna reduce the yield of your Blackberry. So in this area right here, we're, doing, we're conducting some evaluations of different mulches, uh, different herbicides. But some of the things you might see in your Blackberry operation or even in your landscape beds are gonna be broadleaves, grasses, and sedges. And this just happens to be Virginia buttonweed right here. It's a broadleaf, and that's a very common plant in landscapes, and it's becoming a more common plant in, uh, in flower beds and in blackberry beds too. So that's, uh, that's, that's just a common broadleaf. We also have grasses, and this is a perennial grass right here called Bermuda grass, and they have a lot of that here in their uh, blackberry operation. Uh, Bermuda grass is a very common perennial grass that you might see in all kinds of farming operations and crops. We also have sedges too, and sedges are grass-like plants. They have triangular stems, and uh, they're considered the number one weed problem in the world. So sedges are a real issue in pretty much all kinds of cropping systems. So in blackberries, uh, in this evaluation, we are evaluate, evaluating different mulches. We're evaluating pine bark mulch. Uh, we're evaluating wheat straw, uh, bahia grass, hay, um, uh, pine bark nuggets. So we have different mulches here that we're evaluating. And what we're seeing right now is all the mulches look really good. They're really suppressing weed growth and of course they also provide some moisture retention too. Uh, we are also looking at some organic herbicides and I have an organic herbicide right here called Scythe. And uh, this is a contact type herbicide that is uh, that you have to spray very often. And I sprayed it on some Bermuda grass here two to three days ago. The problem with Scythe is it doesn't translocate into the underground part, yeah. so it's just going to burn the Bermuda grass and then the Bermuda grass is going to come back. But it is an organic option. It's one of the better organic options as a post-emerge herbicide. We also have corn gluten that we're evaluating here too, uh, considered an organic product as well. We're evaluating some synthetic herbicides like Devranol, uh, Simazine, and Surflan. Uh, these are all very effective herbicides, but what we're seeing is when we're evaluating those herbicides on bare ground, they're not nearly as effective as they are in conjun conjunction with mulches. Where we have mulch like this Devranol here, the weed control is actually pretty good, especially in the root zone area of the uh, blackberry. Uh, we're seeing that mulch is the key. Uh, the herbicides are helping, but mulch is the key uh, for keeping weed pressure down uh, in this operation. We also have some uh, plastic culture that we're evaluating as well, and some fabric too, uh, weed control fabric. This plastic culture doesn't last long. You can already see the purple nut sedge popping right through it. Now, purple nut sedge, again, is the number one ranked weed problem in the world, and you know, I've seen pictures of it growing through asphalt, so it's very tough to control a purple nut sedge. And uh, it's already popping through. This has been down about 30 days. But really what we're trying to achieve here is during this critical period, these plants are about 30 days old, uh, been planted about 30 days. What we're trying to achieve here is no weed pressure around the plants during this critical growth period. And so I think we're achieving that. The weed control here is, is really excellent, but we are seeing the problem is gonna be that the purple nut sedge is gonna be popping right through very quickly. So we should get about a year's worth of use out of this plastic mulch, and, uh, and then it should, by then probably the weed pressure will be pretty high. And the weed control fabric has just been outstanding, and I think that's definitely the way to go. Uh, for new operations, uh, is if you want to cut down on, on weed control on hand labor, and uh, and and also it, it seems to also do a pretty good job of retaining moisture as well.